Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jamps and Entertainment. This is the spoiler review for Split. Spoiler alert! You've been warned. Okay, here's the shortest version of this spoiler review. For those of you who saw Split and did not get the twist, this movie is a sequel to Unbreakable. And that's what makes this movie even better than initially. Because I'm watching movies like, yeah, this is, this is fun, this is entertaining. McAvoy's amazing. And then when you get to the end of the movie, you're in a diner and there's a newscast going on about McAvoy's character who the media is now calling the Horde. And it pans through all the customers at the, at the counter. And, in their, and the one customer is like, wasn't there like a similar guy that they were talking about years ago? What was his name? And it pans back to Bruce Willis and he says, Mr. Glass. I was in my seat and was like, yeah, that was good. I can't wait to see the sequel to this. <laughs> Unbreakable and Split are great movies because they take a different twist on the comic book hero movie. Now, in Unbreakable, from the very beginning, Shyamalan is telling you that this is a comic book movie. But I, first time viewing it, you're not sure why he's talking about comics this, 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 until you get a little further into the movie, about a quarter of the way through, where you learn that Sam Jackson's character, Mr. Glass, his basically growing up his entire life just being immersed in the comic books. And he came up with this belief that everyone has a purpose. And he's been trying to find his purpose. And, and by doing that, he's set up these horrible events to find someone on the opposite spectrum of him. And that person is David Dunn, who is unbreakable. McAvoy's character did have some role in the original script of Unbreakable, but Shyamalan couldn't quite find a way to factor him into that storyline, and so he scrapped it and saved it for Split. And I'm glad he did, because I think Unbreakable would have been too muddled and too convoluted. He kept it very simple introducing one villain at a time and I would really much like to see Unbreakable 2 with Mr. Glass and the Horde and them like conspiring together and David Dunn has to take them down now who knows what could happen in the next movie he could probably introduce another superhero or maybe his son is a superhero. Not quite like him, but he has some other power. At this point, anything could happen. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Split and the twist. If you got it, if you didn't get it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. I really would like to know your thoughts. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. And remember, live your imagination.